Okay. Uh, this is course revision for chapter two. Uh, we have uh, from two point one until I think all of chapter two. Okay, fee questions one to eighteen, which are normal course questions, so nineteen to thirty in the top questions. Okay, do all thirty. Okay, if you want, split it up one day. Uh, I don't know whenever you're watching this. Some people are watching this the day before the exam. Uh, but for those who are watching this during the weekend, uh, maybe split it up. Do uh, one to eighteen, which are the normal questions today, and then the top questions the night before the exam. Okay, I, I know. The written will probably come from the top questions, okay? But in the computer, she will probably get the, uh, the normal course questions, okay? There are some questions here which are kind of hard. Question here, 15. This is a book question. I feel she might get it in the written, okay? This one, 14. So we're going to do all of these anyway. Uh, and I do have uh, a, a, a question that will probably come in the written it came last year's written uh i will go live on sunday at 8 p.m or 7 30 uae time the day before the exam and solve it okay as well as to answer any questions you guys might have okay we'll start with 2.1 quickly uh, evaluate this guys if you have a calculator just put it in a calculator if it comes written what do you do we rewrite the bigger factorial in terms of the smaller factorial, right? So 16 factorial times 17 times 18 times 19 times 20 over 4 factorial, which is 1 times 2 times 3 times 4, right? Okay, let's see. Uh, we have 16 factorial over here, right? 16 factorial, 16 factorial. Uh, what can we cancel? We can cancel uh, 20 with 4 becomes 5. We can cancel 18 with 3 becomes 6. 6 with 2 it becomes 3. So we're left with 17 times 3 times 19 times 5, which is, I don't know, how much did they get? 4,845. Is that correct? Wait, let me see. Uh, let me just put it on the calculator. 20 factorial over 4 factorial, 6 factorial, 16 as the factorial. Maru. Oh, you have to put it in brackets. 4845. Okay. How many four digit odd numbers are there? Huh? Okay. So I looked at the solution. Two and three, I, I don't think they will come. But uh, I'll still solve it. Okay. How many four digit num odd numbers are there? Okay. Let's see. Four digit number that means it has one, two, three, four. Uh, you know, a number we could have from zero to nine, right? But can the first number be zero? Obviously not, because if the first number is zero, then what's going to happen? It's not going to be four digits, it's going to be three digits, right? Okay, Mesha. Taib. We know the first number can only be from one to nine. So how many numbers? We have nine possibilities. Okay, so nine possibilities. Okay, here it can be any number from zero to nine, right? So it can be ten possibilities. Here also it can be ten possibilities, any number from zero to nine. But for it to be odd, you know, the last number has to be odd. You know, how do you know if something's odd or even? The last number has to be odd. And what odd numbers are they? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, right? So we have five possibilities. So whenever you want to find a possibility of like many things, remember it's probability of this times probability of this times probability of this times probability of this. What's the probability of this? It's 9. Probability of this is 10, 10, 5. And you get 4,500. Okay. How many, like, and then here for 3, how many license plates can be made used? made using three distinct letters okay so we have three letters okay here we know how many letters are there in the alphabet by the way 26 huh 26 letters in the alphabet so here we have 26 different letters but they said distinct so let's say you took a letter here that means here there's only going to be 25 distinct meaning different letters so you can't have the same letter repeated okay so how many are going to be here is <laughs> what did i just say how many letters possibilities can be here now 24 why because here it was 26 you chose a letter now there's only 25 to choose from. And then after you choose one here, there's only 24 to choose from. So how would you find this? 26 times 25 times 24. Okay, let me just double check this. Uh, yeah, 15,600. Okay, in case this comes, I really, really doubt it. Wallah. Okay, this one four, we need it. How many ways of, of three members can be chosen from 10, a group of 10? Okay, do you know, guys, the combination NCR? 
right ncr is a definition of how many uh, ways you can choose r objects from a group of n objects okay so in this case it's the same as saying 10 c3 this the number down has to be smaller than the one up okay 10 c3 which is just equal to 10 factorial over 3 factorial 10 minus 3 factorial or you can just do it in a calculator okay i won't solve it how much is the answer 120 meshi okay five express in terms of factors let's start with part a okay my mouse is really annoying me okay part a uh, we have n plus 2 c3 what is equal to n plus 2 factorial over 3 factorial n plus 2 minus 3 factorial which is equal to n plus 2 factorial over 3 factorial n minus 1 factorial right 2 minus 3 n minus 1 okay now we have two factorials can we rewrite the n plus 2 factorial in terms of n minus 1 yes because n minus 1 is smaller than n plus 2 right so what you're going to do we're going to write n minus 1 factorial and we're going to keep on going up until we reach n plus 2 right what comes after n minus 1 n comes after n n plus 1 comes after n plus 1 n plus 2 Okay, over 3 factorial, n minus 1 factorial. Cancel, cancel. You're going to get n, n plus 1, n plus 2, over 6, because 3 factorial is 6, okay? So this is your answer. This was in the quiz, I think. B, n plus 1 factorial, n, sorry, it was the n plus 1 combination with n minus 1. Okay, this is equal to n plus 1 factorial, right, over n minus 1 factorial n plus 1 minus the whole thing not just minus and this is n minus 1 factorial okay n plus 1 minus n minus 1 right factorial realize how you have to distribute the minus into this all so it's going to be n plus 1 factorial over n minus 1 factorial this is okay n minus n cancels right 1 minus minus 1 is 2 factorial so it's going to be n plus 1 factorial okay over 2 factorial n minus 1 factorial can you rewrite n plus 1 factorial in terms of n minus 1 yes you can it's going to be n minus 1 factorial then you keep on going until you reach n plus 1 which is n n plus 1 right over 2 factorial n minus 1 factorial cancel cancel n n plus one over two okay and you should get n n plus one over two yeah or half n n plus one whatever it doesn't matter okay six evaluate this and i'm gonna solve on paper in case it comes written okay but if it's not written just put it into your calculator okay so sigma m squared plus two n plus one can be rewritten as sigma m squared plus sigma two m plus sigma 1 okay up until 10 10 10 and this starts at be careful m equals 1 okay if it doesn't start at m equals 1 then you're gonna have to substitute and add but here it starts at 1 so we can simply use the rule sigma k squared equals k k plus 1 2k plus 1 over 6 and sigma k is k up until n sorry it's instead of k write n it doesn't matter n n plus 1 over two but you get it. it's the rule that i'm trying to say i'm trying to prove a point anyway it's up until 10 so it's going to be 10 10 plus 1 which is 11 2 times 10 plus 1 is 21 over 6 plus this is 2 sigma m right so this can be written as let me erase this and write 2 sigma m up until 10 okay m equals 1 anyway 2 sigma m sigma m is n n plus 1 over 2 so it's going to be 10 11 over 2 right we're gonna multiply this by this plus uh, sigma 1 up until 10 you just do 1 times 10 right so 10 okay let's see here this to this 7 2 this with this 5 okay 5 times 11 times 7 55 times 7 uh, 35 385 it should be 385 plus here 10 2 actually no, you know you can just cancel this 2 with this 2 you're gonna get 10 times 11 which is 110 that you do your own way or you can just put it in a calculator whatever you get uh let me see 120 plus 385 that's 505 if i'm not wrong yeah 
One sc How did they do it? Sigma. Ah, they did it like this. Yeah, you can do this. People do this, and I hate, hate, hate doing this. Okay, if you write this, obviously you won't get it wrong. But I hate, I hate to do this. Okay, I you like the formula. Okay. <coughs> Question seven. Write the term. Okay. Balash na binomial expansion. Okay. Write the term in x to the power of five. Okay. Whenever you see any binomial expansion question, you can go through these steps, okay? Because people still are confused. Whenever you see binomial expansion, first you're going to check, do I have x in one term or two terms? In this case, it's only in one term. It's only in the first term. Okay. Remember, what's the first thing we do? We write down the general term. 3x to the power of, sorry, it's 9ck, because it's nck, right? To the power of n minus k. So 9 minus k, 1 over 3 to the power of k. Just for those who are still confused, it's because a plus b to the power of n is equal to a to the power, sorry, is equal to n c k, the general term of any any, or you start sigma n c k up until n, a to the power of n minus k, b to the power of k. This is the formula, okay? Anyway, so if you want a general, the general term of any specific term, this is how you write it. And obviously, and I substituted n with 9 because it's to the power of 9. Anyway, you write down your general term. This is always very, very beneficial. You can look at your general term. You can look at the question. Now, what do we want? x to the power of 5. Where's my x here? Here. What is the power of k? x? It's 9 minus k. So this 9 minus k should be equal to 5. So, so I'm going to get k equals 4. Okay? That's it. You get k equals 4. You can memorize formulas, you can do whatever, okay? But if you want, instead of memorizing formulas, write it like this and look at it. See how you can get the power, okay? Compare your power with what they want. They want 5, but you have 9 minus k. So you just 9 minus k equals 5, okay? Anyway, we got k equals 4. So you get 9c4, 3x to the power of 9 minus 4, which is 5. And then 1 over 3 to the power of 4. Okay, 9C4, we're just going to put this in a calculator, guys. 9C4, 126. 126. 3x to the power of 5, I do not know what that is. Actually, you know what, instead of, if you're doing this on paper to make things a bit easier, this is going to be 3 to the power of 5, x to the power of 5, right? You distribute it in. Times 1 over 3 to the power 4. Because 1 to the power 4 is just 1. But 3 to the power 4 is 3 to the power 4. So instead of multiplying, you can just simplify. 3 to the power 5 divided by 3 to the power 4 is actually just 3, you guys. So 126 times 3x to the power 5, right? So you get 378x to the power 5. It doesn't really matter if you have a calculator, but I'm just trying to show. These are shortcuts, guys, you can use uh, to solve quicker. So, 378x to the 5. Okay. Write the 6th term. Okay, when they say 6th term, nth term, k is always equal to n minus 1. Okay, when you're saying the nth term, the nth term. Okay, actually, instead of saying nth term, the, the zth term. You know, let's just say zth term. Okay, k is always equal to z minus 1. If they say 6 term, yeah, k equals 6 minus 1, so equals 5. So here, what am I going to do? k equals 5. What's my general term? What's my general term, guys? My general term in this case is 9ck, 1 to the power of n minus k, 2x to the power of k, right? We know k equals 5, so 9c5, 1 to the power of 4, because 9 minus 5 is 4, 2x to the power of 5. 9c5, it will... Uh, should be equal to 126, I think. 9C5. Yeah, 126. 126. 2x to the power of 5 is 32. x to the power of 5. So we'll have 126 times 32. 4032. So you get 4032x to the power of 5. I think this was in the quiz. Same numbers. I remember these numbers. Yes. Okay, 8. Uh, 9. Obtain and simplify the coefficient of the term 1 over x squared. Okay. Remember, what's the first thing you check when they ask for the power, right? What's the first thing you check? You check, do I have x in both terms? If it's in both terms, 
That means you can use the formula n minus 2k equals p. Okay, you can use that. Okay, but before using the formula, check the degree of both x's. If they're both the same, then you can use it. Okay, if they're not the same, which we will eventually get a question, I think. Uh, they didn't give a question. Okay. Yeah, they didn't give a question about it. But in the quiz, there was a question. And they might get a question in the exam. I know when I'm here, yeah. Okay. Check if both degrees are equal to each other. And they are in this case, so you can use n minus 2k equals p. What's my n? 10. Minus 2k equals the power. What's the power? Negative 2. If you put 2, you'll get it wrong. Why negative 2? Because it's in the denominator. Take it off. What does it become? Negative 2, right? And we don't work with the denominator in binomial expansion. We're not allowed, okay? 10 minus 2k equals negative 2. You're going to get uh, negative 12. You're going to get k equals 6, okay? Now, what's the general term here? It's 10 ck, right? n c k x to the power of n minus k so 10 minus k minus 1 over x to the power of k let's see what's my k we said it's 6 10 c 6 x to the power of 10 minus 6 is 4 right minus 1 over x to the power of k which is 6 let's see since it's a positive power let's let's actually not let me let me just forget about the power let's start 10 c 6 start from the left side 10c6 is 210, 210 times x to the power of 4 times minus 1 to the power of 6, even exponent, so it becomes positive, right? 1 over, 1 to the power of 6 over x to the power of 6. And 1 to the power of 6 is just 1, it doesn't matter. Anyway, here, can we cancel this 4 and the 6? Yes, we can. 4 minus 6 is going to become x to the power of negative 2. You get 210, right? x to the power of negative 2, how do you make it positive? You just take it down. So 210 over x squared. So what's your answer? It should be 210. 210, yeah. So you should start to be quick with it, you know? You, know, you practice, practice with math, with math. Math, I know, for me, is my favorite subject. I love math, okay, really. And uh, hopefully when I'm in the future, I'm going to do math as my major. The only way, the only way from my experience, okay, the only way from my experience to get good at math is by practicing. You can't understand, like, okay, you can understand math, but with these types of things, you can't get good at it unless you practice and solve and solve and solve and solve. I, I, there's no other way. Honestly, there's no other way. People sometimes ask me, no, read, no, how do you know all this? It's because I practice, guys. Okay, I'm not saying I go home every day and solve math. I don't know. Well, I'm not like that, guys. But in class or whatever just solve if you sit there in class and just not do anything you're not gonna benefit solve in class that's how you get your brain used to it anyway enough yap let me solve <laughs> let me solve obtain and simplify the constant term okay constant term we said k equals n over 2 right when do we use these formulas n minus 2k equals p and k equals n over 2 make sure well when they ask constant term, usually there's x in both. But just make sure, okay? Just make sure there's x on both sides. Now, we know x is on both sides, right? Okay, check. Is there the x's, are they both the same degree? Yes. That means, خلاص, we can use our rule. Meshe, k equals n over 2, so k is going to be equal to 8 over 2, which is 4. Hala, what's the general term here? 8 c k. Uh, I'm gonna write k. I'm not gonna write the power at the start. Why I'm not writing the power at the start is so you guys can get used to how to write it. 3x to the power of 8 minus k minus 1 over 3x to the power of k. We know k is 4, so 8c4, 3x to the power of 4 minus 1 over 3x to the power of 4, right? 8c4, just put this in the calculator. 70, okay, 70, oh, had 3 to the power of 4, x to the power of 4, right? Okay, and this is going to be minus 1 to the power of 4, it's even exponent, so it becomes a, a positive, over 3 to the power of 4, x to the power of 4. Can't we just cancel this with this? Yes, we can, 70 times 1, you get 70 as your constant term, okay? 70, yes, okay. If, okay, and I explained it in the quiz. Constant term means x to the power of 0, okay? And you know x to the power of 0. 
And you know, now, like, when we got 70, it's the same as saying 70 x to the power of 0. Because x to the power of 0 is just 1. 70 times 1. Okay, why I'm saying this is in case... In case... In case... Uh, it's only x here. In case there is only x here. Like, three, it, imagine it was like 3x minus 1 over 3. Okay? If there's only x on one side, that means inter, you want constant term, that means you want x to the power of 0. And the x, imagine there was no x. I'm going to solve now as if there's no x, okay? On the right, no. They want x to the power of 0 because they said constant. What's the power of x? And what's the general term here? It's 8, c, k. 3x to the power of n minus k. Uh, n minus k and then minus 1 over 3 to the power of k. Now we want x to the power of 0. What's the power of x here? It's n minus k. And we know n is 8, right? Okay, and so why did I write n? 8. Okay, 8 minus k, we want it to be 0, right? Equals 0, and you get k equals 8. Then you solve with k equals 8, and then you're going to end up finding the constant term. Okay, this, it's, uh, it's like, uh, how can I say it? It's like, um, this is in case they get it in a different way in the exam. Or, for if they got you square here, again, you would you would want... I'm going to solve now as if they got you square. You want to find k. How would you do it? Again, rewrite the general term. ck 3x square to the power of n minus k, right? 8 minus k. 8, 8 minus k. And that minus 1 over 3x to the power of... Okay, okay, and you want it to be x to the power of 0, right? Nahna, obviously we're going to divide, right? So, the final power is 8 minus k, minus this k here, right? Minus k. So, as the, no, no, not 8 minus k minus k. The final power would be this 2, 8 minus k, right? It's 2, 8 minus k. This is the power over here, minus k. Why am I multiplying? Because, guys, you know, power of a power. I explained this in the quiz. They might get it. The x to the power of 2 to the power of 8 minus k. What's the power here going to be? It's 2 times 8 minus k, right? And then minus this power here, because it's in the denominator. Equals 0. And you're going to get 16 minus 2k minus k equals 0. You're going to get k equals blah, 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 blah. Obviously, these numbers are not, they're not precise, but in case they do, this is how you solve, okay? And now I'm trying to give you all cases. Use the binomial theorem to find 2.02 to the power of 10, correct to two decimal places. The first step, whenever you get a decimal, split up the decimal. Okay? You can split it up like, oh, not like that. 2 plus 0.02 to the power of 10. Okay? Anna, the way we did it in class, okay, the teacher would only expand it up to like the fourth or fifth term, okay, and he'd say, you don't need to continue expanding. But Anna, I want to see how they did it in the solution. Yeah, see, so here they only expanded until the, the fifth term, okay? Yeah, I guess you could do that. There would be no point to expand until the tenth term because you're working with a decimal. And actually, if you put on your calculator, Masalan, 0 0.02 to the power of 10, okay? Look at this. It's 1.024 times 10 to the power of negative 17. In, not in scientific notation. I'll try as much as I can. Just look at, it's going to be 0 0.000, and this is still to the negative 9, so there's still 9 more zeros. So, Aki, there's no point in adding this, right? And especially, they didn't say the exact value. They said to two decimal places. So, okay? So, now we're going to expand 2 plus 0 0.02 to the power of 10. Okay? 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 And if they would get this, I doubt they'll get this. Honestly, I doubt. Why they won't get this in a computer part is because you can just do this. Okay? And to two decimal places, that will be 0.13. What's the answer? Yeah, see, 1, 1, 3, 1, 1, 3. So you can just put it in a calculator. The only way they could bring it is written. Oh, Anna, I can, I can almost guarantee you. And they will not get this in the written. But, but don't take my word for it. Make sure you know how to solve it. It's the same thing. Let's see. How do we solve this? What's the, what, it's 10. So we're going to start uh, until the fifth term. So until k equals 4. So we're going to start 10 c 0. 2 to the power of 10 minus 0, 10, right? And then 0 0.02 to the power of 0. 
we add, we don't have to write this. It's the first term, so we don't write the other ones. Ten. Okay. Anyway, ten C one, two to the nine, uh, plus uh, zero point zero two to the power of one, plus ten C two, two to the power of eight, zero point zero two to the power of two, plus ten C three, two to the power of seven, zero point zero two. Hold up, 0 0.02 to the power of 3 plus 10 C4 to the power of 6, 0 0.02 to the power of 4. Okay, now this you can just put it in a calculator. Okay, just go 10 C0 is 1, okay, 2 to the power of 10, let's say 10, 2 to the power of 10 plus, okay. 10c1, you can just put 10c1, okay, 2 to the power of 9, 0 0.02, oh, shit, okay, plus 10, c2, 2 to the power of 8, Hold up, no, no, I, yeah, okay, 0 0.02 square plus 10 C3. Please make sure you put it in the calculator correct. Huh? I saw some people in school, they asked me what it was, my answer wrong, and then they showed me the calculator, and I'd look at the calculator, and I'll get confused, and all. why is this guy writing this in the calculator, okay? They know themselves, obviously, guys, I don't like saying names, because haram, like, Okay, 0 0.02 to the power of 3. You can put it outside, it doesn't matter. Huh? Okay, plus 10. C4. 2 to the power of 6. 0 0.02 to the power of 4. You get this. Okay, so to two decimal places, 1131. Point 0.13 Question 12 Expand this as far as the term in x cubed Whenever If you see something like this in the exam <coughs> You're gonna You're gonna have to treat this As two separate terms Okay You're gonna treat it as 1 plus x Minus x squared Okay you know, Those are your two terms 1 plus x minus x squared to the power of 4 and you expand it as if 1 plus x is one term okay what do you what do you mean let me show you again they could still get this because this wasn't in the quiz and the region loves not to put stuff in the quiz and then get it in the exam so make sure you know what you're doing here huh? if you see this in the exam don't panic let's see as far as the term in x cube so we're probably gonna stop uh, at yeah, we're going to probably stop at when k equals uh, 1, because, yeah, as far as the term in x cubed, let's not look at the x squared, let's look at the x, right? We know the general term of this, guys, is going to be 4ck, 1 plus x, to the power of n minus k, so 4 minus k, times minus x squared, to the power of k. So, it's probably going to be... If I want as far as x cubed, uh, let's look at the power of x, not x squared, because you're multiplying two times something. So that we, you're, there's no way. Two times. Guys, is there any way you can multiply two by a number and get an odd number? No way. Unless it's a fraction, of course, right? But no, no, we're not working with fractions. Okay. So in this case, we're going to look here. 4 minus k, we want 3. So 4 minus k equals 3. So we're going to probably expand until k equals 1. But they're saying expand as far, so we're not looking for a specific term. So let's see now. We're going to keep on expanding. Oh, why did I delete 4CK? Okay, let's start expanding. We're going to start 4C0, 1 plus x to the power of 4. Okay, uh, and this is going to be power 0, okay? So plus 4C1, uh, 1 plus x to the power of 3. 
minus x squared. Sorry, minus x squared to the power of one. Allah. Minus x squared to the power of one plus four c two. Let me see. Like, let me show you. If you go four c two, one plus x uh, squared plus minus x squared squared. Here you're gonna get power two. Ooh, here you're gonna get uh, power four. But let me just make sure in the solution. Uh, you're gonna get. Ah, they expanded until C3. Ah, oh, no, no, no. They expanded over here. Forget about the top part. They expanded over here until 4C2. As no, until 4C1. They didn't do 4C2. Yeah. Like like I told you, they skipped this part. They, they went up until here. Okay? Because here you're going to get power 2 for X. And here you're going to get power 4. And we don't want that. Okay? So we're just going to expand this. Let's see. So you're going to get 4C0, which is 1. So we're not gonna write the one. One plus x to it comes one plus x to the power four, plus four c one, which is four. Four times one plus x to the power of three, right? And then minus x squared. You right. So are we done here? No, we're not. We have two more expansions to do, right? We have this expansion and this expansion, right? If you want to make things a bit easier. Like I told you in the exam, Pascal's triangle. Write it down when you enter, so you save time during expansions. So here you're going to get 1 to the power of 4, plus 4, 1 to the power of 3, x to the power of 1, plus 6, uh, 1 to the power of 2, x to the power of 2, plus 4, 1, x to the power of 3, plus x to the power of 4. Okay, this is just using the coefficients from here. It's the same thing as doing 4c0, 4c1, 4c2, okay? This is why Pascal's triangle will help you a lot. And I like to solve from Pascal's triangle for like the small powers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I use Pascal's triangle. But when it's power 10, power 11, okay, you have to use the combinations. Okay, anyway, let's simplify this. You're going to get 1 to the power of 4 plus 4x, right? 1 to the power 4, done. Four, 1 to the power 3 is 1. Four, so 1 times 4 is 4. 4 times x, 4x. Plus uh, 6 times one, 1 squared is just 6. Times x squared is 6x squared. Done. Done. Okay, done here. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times x cubed is 4x cubed. Plus x to the power of 4. Okay, we're done from this expansion. We're done here. What do we have left? We have this here. We can take 4 times minus x squared. So it's going to become minus 4x squared times 1 plus x cubed, right? So can we expand 1 plus x cubed? Yes, we can. The coefficients are 1, 3, 3, 1. Some people have the, the expansion for cube memorized. It's actually the expansion for a plus b cubed is a cubed plus 3a squared b plus 3ab squared plus b cubed. We took this in grade 8, okay? In case any yani, some of you forgot, most of you forgot, I think only a few people actually memorized uh, Memorized this. is square plus, uh, it looks like a 4. Anyway, so this expansion of 1 plus x cubed is going to be 1 cubed, right? The first coefficient is 1, plus 3, 1 squared, x, plus 3, again, right? 1, x squared realize how the powers always add up to to uh, n right plus x cube okay you're gonna get one cube which is one one plus three times one squared is three x plus three x squared plus x cube outside you have minus four x squared okay so we're gonna add this right which is just this let's see mine i'm gonna take this up minus 4x squared times 1 is minus 4x squared minus 4x squared times 3x is minus 12x cubed minus 4x squared times 3x squared is minus 12x to the power of 4 minus 4x squared plus x cubed as a minus 4x squared times x cubed is minus 4x to the power of 5 mashi we're done from all of this let's take this down now 1 to the power of 4 which is just 1 1 plus 4x plus 6x squared, plus 4x cubed, 
plus x to the power of 4. Okay, let's see, what can we simplify? This one, can, we, can we can take it down. 4x, what other x's do we have? We don't have anything. x squared, 6 minus 4 is 2. Yeah, so 2x squared. Cube, and that 4x cubed, minus 12x cubed, 4 minus 12 minus 8x cubed. They said, as far as the term in x cubed, so we're done here. 1 plus 4 plus 2x squared minus 8x cubed. Okay. Hala, in the exam, I'd recommend you to put plus dot dot dot. Okay. In case they decide to be annoying, just put plus dot dot dot, meaning that there's more that we didn't, we did, we just chose not to write. Okay. They want as far as x cubed. So this is your answer. Wow. That's a lot, sir. Uh, inshallah, they don't get this. I hope they won't. I don't think they will, Salah. Okay, use the binomial, binomial theorem to expand this, okay, as far as x cubed. Okay, what's the first thing we do? We take this guy up, right? So it's going to become, let's, uh, where do I solve that? Hake, not hake. Okay, I'll write like this. So I have some space to work. Okay, we're going to take uh, 2 minus x squared up. It's going to be x plus 2, 2 minus x to the power of negative 2, sir. Okay, 2 minus x to the power of negative 2. We're going to expand it and then multiply by x plus 2. So let's expand 2 minus x to the power of negative 2. How do we do it? Remember, when you have a negative power, you're going to use the rule up until infinity. But can you use the rule if you have 2? Can you? No, you can't, right? So you have to take 2 out. So it's going to be 2. Wait, let me make sure. Am I correct? Wait. Yeah, you take the 2 out, right? It's going to be 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. X minus x divided by 2 is minus x over 2. Remember, this 2 still falls under the power of negative 2. Anna, I don't like working with it still here, so let me get rid of it. 2 to the power of negative 2, it's equal to 1 over 4. Okay, for those of you who still don't know why, 2 to the power of negative 2 is the same as 1 over 2 squared. We have a negative power, you take it down to make it positive, okay? Some of, some people still don't know this. And no, I was uh, shadow teaching in class uh, on Wednesday, and I was explaining, and some guy asked him to solve, I told him, uh, what's 2 to the power of negative 2? And he told me 4. He knows himself if he's watching this video. Uh, anyway, two, 1 over 4 times 1 minus x over 2 to the power of negative 2. We're done from this 1 over 4, so let's just put this 1 over 4 on the side now. Okay, we're going to rewrite this as, uh, you know, let's keep the 1 over 4 here. Okay, we're going to rewrite this now all as 1 over 4 times x plus 2, right? From over here. Okay, times 1 minus x over 2 to the power of negative 2. Can we expand now? Yes, we can. We have 1 as our first number. It, remember, it, and I'm, why I took it out is because you need the first number to be 1, huh? Or unless you are not allowed to expand. Your first number has to be 1. Only when you have a negative power or a fraction as your power. Okay, 1 minus x over 2 to the power of negative 2. Let's expand 1 minus x over 2 to the power of negative 2. Let's start. As far as x cube so in this case you're multiplying by x so hello people will expand up until k equals 3 because they want the power of x to be cube right and i'm gonna tell you from now it's gonna be yeah, yeah actually yeah you're gonna expand up until k equals 3 right because you want it to be cube so let's see this is gonna be equal to minus 2c0 and you know, for the minus 2c0, when you have, when you're expanding to infinity, minus 2, it's always the first one, you just write it by itself. Plus minus 2c1, because, you know, 1 to the power of whatever, negative 2, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, you don't write it. We don't write the 1, like we skip it. Anyway, minus 2c1, hello, we're saying minus x over 2 to the power of 1, plus minus 2c2, minus x over 2 to the power of 2. Nice. Uh, plus minus 2c3 to the power uh, of the times minus x over 2 to the power of 3. Okay. Uh, hello, what do you do? Yeah, you expand. Minus 2c1. Minus 2c1 is minus 2 uh, times minus x over 2. Okay. Our she, the negatives cancel. Okay. Then she 2 with 2, so you get 1 plus x. Okay. You get 1 plus x. Okay, plus minus 2c2 should be minus 2, minus 3, it should be 3. 
okay and then the square becomes positive right it makes it positive so it's gonna be uh, times x squared over 4 so it's gonna be 3x squared over 4 for people who don't know why minus 2c2 is 3 it's because you write 2 factorial down right as a 2 factorial down and then you put minus 2 and you want 2 terms up so you, you subtract by 1 until you have 2 terms and we already have 2 terms so you get 6 divided by 2 which is 3 okay 6 divided because minus 2 times minus 3 is 6 and 2 factorial is 2 so 6 divided by 2 is 3 okay and we're done from the square Hello, minus 2c3 again how do you find it? 3 factorial down minus 2 now we want 3 terms so you're going to keep on subtracting till you get 3 terms okay you get 6 negative 24 over 3 factorial which is uh, 6 so you get negative 4 as minus 2c3 so negative 4 times minus x cube over 2 cube okay First thing, these become positive, right? Minus with minus cancels. Then, uh, 2 cube is 8. You can cancel 4 and 8. You get 2. So you can rewrite this as x cube over 2. x cube over 2. Okay. Now we expanded. We can rewrite this as 1 over 4 times x plus 2 times right 1 plus x plus 3 x squared over 4 uh, plus x cube over 2 and now I like to keep the 1 over 4 part until I expand everything okay so let's now expand the x plus 2 times this right what are we gonna get x times 1 is x yeah I'll write on the left because I want a bit of more space I'm gonna get x x times 1 is x x times x is x squared x times 3x squared over 4 is 3x cube over 4. Uh, x times x cube over 2 is x to the 4 over 2. Okay, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times x is 2x. 2 times 3x squared over 4. It's going to be 2 and 4, they will cancel. You're going to get 2 here, right? So 3x squared over 2. Plus... 2 times x cube over 2, 2 and 2 will cancel, you can just get x cube. Okay, we get this, you have 1 over 4 here. Okay, to make things a bit easier, let's simplify, you can combine a few terms here. Okay, you're going to get 1 over 4 times x plus 2x, or, no, or before we write x, let's write 2, right, get rid of the constant term, plus x plus 2x, x here, 2x here. It's going to be 3x. Okay. Uh, the squares, you have x squared plus 3x squared over 2. You can... Let me see. You can... You, it's, you have to add fractions. You can, Instead of adding fractions, you can just say 3 over 2. You know, go to your calculator. 3 over 2 plus 1. And your calculator will do it for you. Because 1 here, 3 over 2 here. You get 5 over 2. So you get 5 over 2. Cancel this with this. You get 2 as the not without. So 3x cubed over 4. This one with this one. You get plus 5 over 2. x squared. Okay. I'll for the cube. And that 3 over 4 plus 1, right? You should get 7 over 4. 3 over 4 plus 1. 7 over 4. Oh, should was x oh shit that's cool okay uh, 7 over 4 x cube okay uh, what else so we're done with the cubes plus x to the power 4 over 2 are we done guys no we are not <laughs> okay I'm gonna take this up okay 1 over 4 times 2 is 2 over 4. 1 over 4 times 3x is 3 over 4x. Or 3x over 4, whatever. 1 over 4 times 5 over 2 is 5 over 8x squared. Plus 1 over 4 times 7 over 4, 7 over 16x cubed. 1 over 4 times x to the power of 4 over 2 is x to the power of 4 over 8. Can we make anything here simplest form? We can make this 1 over 2. Plus 3 over 4x. Just simplify everything. This is These are all in simplest form. You can't simplify this further. 
this also can't be simplified further uh, plus x to the power of 4 over 8 this is your answer but they want as far as x cubed so we don't really we don't care about this here your answer will just be this okay let's check our answer 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4 x plus 5 over 8 x squared plus 7 over 16 x cubed plus da 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 okay question 14 inshallah it's a bit easier okay oh i know this one is nice i don't like this question but this one maybe they get it uh, in the written part i don't know our teacher told us they might get this in the written so i will show you how to do it you know what no i don't want to take it there i want to just okay do i have paint yeah i do have paint Okay, I'm gonna go here. Okay, there you go. Okay. I want this because I... No. I want the calculator to be here. Okay. If I open the open board slide, I can't... I will not be able to use the calculator. Okay. <clears throat> Given that 1 minus 4x to the power of 1 over 4 is this, 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 this find p q and r so aqui they want us to expand but they want us to expand up until x cube let's see let's take this over here okay 1 minus 4 x to the power of 1 over 4 so to expand a fraction the first number must be 1 is it yes can we use our rule up until infinity yes so it starts with 1 over 4 sorry not like this 1 over 4 c 0 Okay, plus 1 over 4, C1. Okay, minus 4x to the power of 1. Plus 1 over 4, C2. Minus 4x to the power of 2. Plus 1 over 4, C3. Minus 4x to the power of 3. This is as far as they want. They want up until cube. So let's see. 1 over 4, 0. 1 plus. Uh, 1 over 4, C1 is 1 over 4. Times minus 4x. Cancel, cancel, it becomes minus x, right? So 1 minus x, you know, let me erase this. Comes 1 minus x, not plus. Minus x. Okay, uh, then 1 over 4, c2, I think is, is going to be two, 1 over 4. 1 over 4 minus 1 over 2 factorial, which is just 2. You get... Is this correct? Minus 3 over 32. Okay. Minus 3 over 32. Wait, no, no. Here, right? Minus 3 over 32. Times minus 4x squared. Minus 4 squared is 16. X squared. Cancel, cancel. You get 2 over here. So minus 3 over 2x squared. Right? Minus 3 over 2 x squared okay but then here 1 over 4 c3 you just you go back here 1 over 4 minus 2 now right because we want three terms and we change this here to 3 factorial why i didn't try 2 factorials because 2 factorial is equal to 2 huh okay you get 7 over 128 plus 7 over 128 okay uh cube you know so minus four times minus 64 x cubed cancel cancel you get 2 7 over it's minus right minus so it's going to be minus 7 over 2 x cubed minus 7 over 2 follow up guys minus 7 over 2 x cubed okay let's check if our answer is correct we got 1 minus x 14 so what are our values of p q and r they put minus p we, so they already put the minus four so what's the coefficient of x it's one then minus q so minus three over two oh sorry no, minus q they already put the minus so do you put minus three over two or three over two you only put three over two then for r they already put the minus again so you put seven over two so our, the answers of p q and r should be one 
3 over 2, 7 over 2. 1, 3 over 2, 7 over 2. Yes. Okay. We need the answer here for part C. Before we go to part C, I'm going to solve for you part B, which is a bit... Uh, if you don't understand it, it's fine. Okay, that's what I'm going to say. Okay. It's a bit uh, different than what we've seen usually in questions. Show that a to the power of 104 is equal to this. Okay. So you want to prove somehow that this is equal to this. Okay. Here's what I, I saw and what we did in class. Okay. Can you express 8 in the term of 2 to the power of something? We can, right? So instead of writing 8, I can write 2 to the power of 3 and then 2 to the power of 1 over 4. So, so 1 over 4. Okay. Equals 2 uh, 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 4, right? Okay. Can we continue here? Yes, we can. 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to 2 to the power of 3 over 4, right? Because power to power is multiply this power by this power okay 2 to the power of 3 over 4 this can be rewritten as 2 to the power of 1 minus 1 over 4 right and this can be rewritten as 2 to the power of 1 times 2 to the power of negative 1 over 4 right 2 to the power of 1 is 2 2 to the power of negative 1 over 4 is 2, sorry, 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 4. Isn't this the same as saying 2, 1 over 2 to the 1 over 4? Yes. So this is how we just proved 8 to the power of 1 over 4 is equal to this. Okay. Let me see the way they put in the solution. This is the way Anna I used. Uh, they used it as, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, that's a nice way also. They rewrote 8 to the power of 1 over 4, because this is 2 times something, right? I was say 1 over 2, sorry, this is 1 over 2 times something, صح? okay. 8, can we rewrite 8 as 1 over 2 times something? Yes, right? And 1 over 2. How do you know 1 over 2? Like, let's say, Masan, you're lost. You don't know what 1 over 2 times... You don't know 1 over 2 times what equals 8. Just write 1 over 2x equals 8. You're going to get x equals 16. Okay? So we can write 1 over 2 times 16 instead of 8, right? Mm -hmm. To the power of 1 over 4. Meshi. You do know to the power of 1 over 4 means 4th root. And 16... The 4th root of 16 is 2. So you can just write... Take 2 out. 2, 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 4. Both ways work. The first way works. The second way works. You can see, you know, here, oh, they want 1 over 2 times something. Okay, so you can rewrite 8 as 1 over 2 times 16 and take 16 out because 16 to the power of 1 over 4, if you do it on a calculator, by the way, it's 2. 16 to the power of 1 over 4. It's 2. Okay, I don't know why I erased it. I'm going to get from part A the expansion we got. 1 minus 1 minus x minus 3 over 2. Ya Allah. 1 ma ya Allah. 1 minus x minus 3 over 2 uh, x squared minus 7 over 2 x cubed. Okay, we got our Okay, we got our expansion. Uh, they said, use the answer in part A with x equals 1 over 8 to estimate the value of 8 to the power of 1 over 4. Now, now we proved that 8 to the power of 1 over 4 is 2 to 1 is this. We proved it for a reason. I'll show you why now. They're saying use x equals 1 over 8. So if you go back here, 1 minus 4 times 1 over 8, it's going to be 1 minus 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 4. Huh? Okay, it's going to be 1 minus 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2 to the power of 1 over 4. Let's see. Okay, they're saying to sh to find the value of 8 to the power of 1 over 4. We said 8 to the power of 1 over 4 is 2, 1 over 2 to the power of 4, right? Okay, so let's see. Is this, yo, my fault. Is this here the same as this? Almost, right? What are we missing? We're just missing a uh, times 2, right? So what are we going to do? We're going to multiply the answer we get here by 2. 
صح؟ اوكي وان اوفر وات واتس ات يعني وات وي جونا دو از وي جونا مولتيبلاي 2 رايت باي ذس 1 ماينس 4 اكس ذا باور اوف 1 اوفر 4 اوكي اند يعني وات يو كان دو وي فاوند اكسبانشن فور ذس 1 ماينس 4 اكس ذا باور اوف 1 اوفر 4 We know that 1 minus 4x to the power of 4 is this. So we're just going to multiply 2 by 1 minus x minus 3 over 2x squared minus 7 over 2x cubed. Okay. We know x equals 1 over 8. Okay. So you're going to do 2, 1 minus 1 over 8, minus 3 over 2, 1 over 8 squared minus 7 over 2, 1 over 8 cubed. Okay. You're going to do this on your calculator. But then, you're going to get to how many decimal places? Five significant figures. Okay. 1.6895. 1.6895. Let me do it on my calculator. Two. Uh, one minus one over eight. Minus three over two. One over eight. Squared. Minus seven over two, one over eight should be cube. Okay, close the bracket, which is one point six eight nine five, right? To five significant figures. Okay, well, let's repeat what I did here. The first thing, whenever they tell you to estimate something, like sometimes they say use x equals something to estimate the square root of ninety six. Whenever you get this type of question to estimate the value, to estimate the value, you substitute, you want to know how much you want to multiply your answer by. So to do that, you substitute your value into your into your equation that you have originally, and you compare it with what you're trying to find, okay? You, we compare it with what you're trying to find. This is 1 over 2 to the power of 1 4. You compare it with what you're trying to find. We compared it, and we realized that I actually have to multiply by 2. So I know that I'm going to multiply by answer by 2. So I go to my my expansion i substitute the one over eight and what do i do i just uh, multiply my answer by two okay for part c write down the value of eight to the power of one over four to five significant figures just put it in your calculator eight to the power of when eight to the power of one over four 1.68 blah, blah 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 you just put it to five significant figures 1.6818 and then they say assume that the calculator value is exact and find the percentage error in the estimate in b21 significant figure okay to find percentage error okay you're gonna do i think it's original minus new divided by original yeah yeah so it's you multiply you do this you do estimated minus calculated divided by calculated and a key since this percentage is times 100 so it's 1.6895 right minus one no one four how minus 1.6818 divided by 1.6818 you get this i don't know times 100 so zero point to one significant figure, zero point five percent. Yes. Okay. Question fifteen. Expand one minus three x to the power of uh, one over three. Okay. Blah 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 blah. Ascending powers until x cube. Right. Type. They want us until x cube, so we just expand like every other question. Because at this stage. I don't know, I'm tired of explaining on and over, over over and over again what you have to do. Hello, so you guys, you should be used to it. To the power of 1 over 3. You check. Is 1 the first term? Yes. Can you expand onto infinity now since 1 is the first term? Yes. Okay, what's the rule? Let's start expanding 1 over 3. Always oh, start 1 over 3, 0. Plus 1 over 3, C1. Minus 3x to the power of 1. Plus 1 over 3, C2. Minus 3x squared. So 1 over 3, C3, three. Uh, minus 3x cube. Okay, let's start. 1 over 3, 0, 1. 1 over 3, C1, 1 over 3, minus 3x. Plus 1 over 3, C2 is going to be, you put 2 factorial down, right? So you put 2 factorial down, 
up you have 1 over 3, 1 over 3 minus 1, right? 1 over 3 minus 1, minus 1 over 9. So plus minus 1 over 9. Uh, minus 3x squared is going to be positive 9x squared, صح? Because uh, the negative becomes positive because it's an even exponent. Okay, but then 1 over 3c3. Let's change نغير هاي دي تحت ل 3 factorial. Okay, 1 over 3 minus 2 5 Is this correct? 1 over 3c yeah, it should be correct. 1 over 3 C3 three, C three is 5. Yeah. 5 over 81. Okay. Minus 3 X cubed is going to be negative 27 X cubed. Since it's an odd exponent, it's negative. Huh? Okay, let's start cancelling this with this. But it's still negative. Huh? So 1 minus X. Hey, 9 with 9. We'll see minus X squared. 81 with 27, let's see how they 3, so f it's going to come negative 5 over 3, x cubed, okay, let's check, is this correct? One minus x minus x squared minus 5 over 3, x cubed, yeah, so always, yani, it's good to put dot dot dot, because there's more in this expansion, uh, there's more in this expansion that we didn't write, so just put the dot 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 to indicate any, you know, oh, there's more, okay, because, yani, I know most of you are not math majors, uh, but even in engineering and physics and stuff, when you grow up in your proofs, in your papers, and whatever, inshallah, you guys will write when you grow up, uh, and when I grow up, I keep any. I'm, I know why I'm acting like I'm older than you guys. But in the future, when you write papers or whatever, it's always important to put this dot, dot, dot to show that there's more stuff you just didn't write. Okay. Oh, why did I raise it? Yeah, I think it was, what was it? One, why did I raise it? One minus uh, x minus x squared minus five over three x cubed. Okay. So hello for part uh, B. By substituting this, we want to find the cube root of 997. What's the first step when we were, what, what did I tell you? It's the first thing to do when you try, when you're solving these substitute x equals blah blah blah, these types of questions. The first thing you do is you go to your original equation and you, you substitute what they want you to substitute. Okay. The power of 1 over 3. Okay, you're going to get, I think, you, when you put this in a calculator, let's forget about the 1 over 3. But this stuff inside, when you put this in a calculator, 1 minus 0 0.003, you're going to get 0. Point, I think 997. Let me see. 1 minus, one minus 0. 0.003. Yeah, 0. 0.997. So it becomes 0. 0.997 to the power of 1 over 3. This is the same thing. You know, power 1 over 3 is the same thing as cube root of 0 0.997, right? Uh, the Always the denominator is your index and the numerator is the power inside the radical. Okay? Taib. Henny, what do they want? The cube root of 997. Is this 997? No. What do we have to do? If you said multiply by 1000, that's completely wrong. Okay? Because if you multiply by 1000, it's going to be 1000 cube root of 0 0.997. So... Is this the same as cube root of 997? No. What are we going to multiply by? We have to multiply by the cube root of 1000. Because now when you multiply, when you want to multiply something inside the radical, that thing also has to be under the radical. Because this way, you remember, if you do 3 times uh, radical 2, it's not radical 6, right? It's 3 radical 2, right? So, enter if you want to make the 0 0.997 into 997, it's under the radical. So, you have to remember to put the thing you're multiplying by also under the radical. So, we, ha we have to, what are we going to multiply by? The cube root of 1000, which in other words is 10. Okay, because 10 cube is 1000. Okay, so you can either say times the cube root of 1000, or you can say times 10. Okay, and now what I do is I say it's cube root of 1000, which is 10. Okay, so now we know what are we going to multiply our answer by? We're going to multiply our answer our expansion by 10. So, and we're going to substitute now. So what are you going to do? You're going to do 10, 1 minus 10 to the power of negative 3, minus 10 to the power of negative 3, minus x, 
uh, 10 to the power of negative 3 squared. You put the minus outside, okay? Minus 5 over 3, negative 10. No, no, it's not negative 10, it's just 10. 10 to the power of negative 3 cube, right? Close the bracket. Let's see. So it's going to be 10. 1 minus 10 to the negative 3. Uh, minus 10 to the negative 3. Oh, this is going to be a long time. This is negative. I don't know why I didn't put negative. 3 squared. Huh? Yeah. Minus 5 over 3. 10 to the negative 3. Cube. Cube. Okay. 9.9899. So they want what? 2 nines? This can't be correct, right? Oh, it is. Okay, it looked wrong. See, that goes to the same thing I was saying in the quiz video. If you get an answer, don't be spectacle, spectacle, skeptical, as they. Don't like start saying, "Oh, that might be wrong. It looks wrong." Blah 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 blah. No, no. Actually, just uh, put your answer. Be confident with your answer, especially with the binomial theorem. With this chapter, all answers will look wrong. Nothing looks correct. Okay, come on. In these higher levels of levels of math, you're gonna have to get used to seeing these long numbers as your answers, or these weird fractions as your numbers, or whatever. Okay. So to nine SF, it's gonna be. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's going to be this. Okay. 9.9899899898. Okay. Question 16. Determine. If I'm not wrong, this was a question in the book. I think. <clears throat> anyway, 1 over radical 4 plus x squared in ascending powers of x, state the values of x uh, for which the expansion is equal to, huh? Determine the first three terms, okay. Oh, oh they mean like, uh, state the values, for, I mean, they're asking for the condition, remember, absolute value of x less than 1, you have to do that. Okay, let's solve the first Part of the question first. Let me go down for some more scratch. Okay. We want to expand this, right? Let's rewrite this radical in terms of power. It's going to be 1 over 4 plus x squared. The power of 1 over 2, right? Okay. What's the first thing we want to do? Or, or no, no. Well, we can't work in the denominator, right? So we're going to take this up. It's going to be 4 plus x squared, the power of negative 1 over 2. Okay. If you expand from... Let me negative 1 over 2 okay can we expand no we can't 4 is our first digit so what we have to do take it out right so this is going to be equal to 4 1 plus x squared over 4 to the power of minus half right okay remember this 4 is still part of this minus half okay so this is going to be let, i want to get rid of this 4 i don't like it okay I want to take it outside. It's, it's part of this. It's still part of this. I want to take it out of it. How do I take it out? It's going to be equal to 4 to the power of minus half, right? Times 1 plus x squared over 4 to the power of minus half. What's 4 to the power of minus half? It's 1 over 4 to the power of half, right? Remember, times 1 plus x squared over 4 to the power of minus half. What is 1 over 4 to the power of half? It's 1 over radical 4, right? Which is 1 over 2. Okay, so that means this is all going to change to... If you put this in a calculator, by the way, you can get 1 over 2. Okay, this is going to be equal to 1 over 2 times 1 plus x squared over 4 to the power of minus 1 over 2. Okay, can you expand this? Yes, you can. Okay, we're going to expand it for the first three terms. So let's see, the expansion is going to be 1 over 2. You know, let's, let's leave the 1 over 2 on the side for now. Okay, let's just expand. It's going to be minus 1 over 2, C0, plus minus 1 over 2, C1, uh, X squared over 4, 
plus minus 1 over 2 c2 x squared over 4 squared and like that that is the first three terms right third th the third term remember the third term uh the third term is when k equals 2 right so you, we can stop it here anyway also you can see this is first term second term third term minus one cz uh, minus half c0 is one this is minus half times x squared over four and this is going to be minus half c2 it should be uh, it should be a positive number i think minus half okay minus half minus one over two factorial which is just two okay you get three over eight yeah three over eight x squared over four squared is x to the power four over uh, 16 okay let's see uh, what do you get here let's simplify all day you get one minus one over two uh, sorry one minus you want to multiply the one over two by x squared over four it's going to be x squared over eight because two times four okay plus three x to the power of four eight times sixteen to the power of three times two to the power of four to the power of so it should be 128 i think eight times 16 yeah 128 and remember that we have this one over two uh outside you know let, let me rewrite this as uh one over two one plus x squared over four just so your answers in the written part are a bit more professional and look like you actually found the answer without cheating okay equals one over two one minus x squared over eight plus three x to the power of four over 128 close the bracket let me see is this correct uh one over two are uh, they distributed yes also, also. you're also supposed to you're supposed to distribute this inside i should have distributed as well okay it's going to be equal to one over two times one is one over two one over two times this is just just multiply the denominator by two huh? and it's going to be three x to the power four over 256 okay let me see is this correct yes okay and diamond always put plus dot 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 okay so this is part a no but so we're not done so we'll say let me just write the expansion here so we use it later half minus x squared over 16 plus 3x to the power of 4 over 256 so let me erase this down here <clears throat> Okay, uh, there's this other part in part A where they state the values of x for which the expansion is equal to this, right? Now we expanded, I erased it, but it was 1 plus x squared over 4, 1 over 2, uh, 1 over 2. Okay, we expanded this. We know that the condition is absolute value of x less than 1. My x here is x squared over 4. So it's absolute value of x squared over 4 less than 1. Multiply the 4, you're going to get x squared less than 4, absolute value, okay? Whenever you get this, I'm going to give you a trick, okay? Mishsah, we said we put it in between, right? We said we put it in between, but in this case, since you have square, you're going to put it in between, bus in between the square roots, okay? Meshe, put it like this. Okay, uh, use the expansion obtained in part A to obtain an approximation for radical 1 over 5. Let's see. So, I'm going to put this here. X to minus 2. Okay, here we have 1 over 4 plus X squared. They want us to find radical 1 over 5, right? Radical 1 over 5 is the same thing as saying 1 over radical 5. Okay, because radical 1 is just 1. How do I go from 4 plus X squared to 5? Aren't they both radical? They are. How do I go from 4 plus x squared to radical 5? 4 plus x squared equals 5. How do I go from this to this? x equals 1, right? Because you can get x squared equals 1. If you subtract the 4, then you get x equals 1. Okay? x equals 1. 
صح if I substitute x as 1, 4 plus 1, 5, radical 5, is this the same as what they're asking me for? Yes. So that means we're going to substitute x equals 1, صح? So let's go back to our original thing. We're going to substitute x equals 1. So 1 over 2 minus uh, 1 over 16 plus 3 over 256. Okay. And what do you get? You get... Okay, you know, I'm going to do it on my calculator. Okay, 1 over 2 minus 1 over 16 uh, plus 3 over 256. Uh, they want to approximate value. How many significant figures? They want four decimal places here, so let's just take four decimal places. Oh, what I got? Where to go? Answer. Yeah, let's just take four decimal places. It's going to be 0 0.4492. Is that the correct answer? Yeah, 0 0.4492. Okay. We're going to take 0 0.4492. Then find the calculator value of it. By the way, you get a mark for just giving the calculator value. Huh? 1 over 5. You get this, right? To four decimal places, you're going to say on calculator. If it comes written on calc, radical 1 over 5 to four decimal places to four decimal places is 0 0.4472 then they say f find the difference between the two answers I kid you're going to subtract the calculator value or this one minus this one just make the answer positive you can just put uh, we, remember we said estimated value minus calculated value right so 0 0.4492 minus 0 0.4472 Seven two. It doesn't matter the order, just as long as you make your answer positive in the end, okay? 0 0.4492 minus 0 0.4472 should be 0 0.002. 0 0.002. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Allah, I think we're done here. Tops, right? Nahna section 3 is not required. Yellow tops. Oh my god, we have a lot. It's probably gonna take another. How long is this recording? Oof. Oh my god, it's probably gonna be two hours long. Find the first three terms in the expansion. Let me close paint because my, my PC is bugging. Uh, don't see if. Do I have anything else here? Nothing. Okay. Find the first three terms in the expansion of x minus 4 to the power one, uh, to the power 15. Nothing hard, just expand, right? Let's expand. Let's go up here. x minus 4 to the power of 15. Okay, let's expand this. First three terms is going to start with 15, c0, right? x to the power of 15, and this is minus 4 to the power of 0, so we don't write it. 15, c1. Why am I writing this now? Because this isn't the negative expansion or fraction expansion. It's the normal expansion, like usual, remember? Remember that uh, the formula for it is sigma n until k, sorry, sorry k equals 0 until n, uh, n c k, a to the power of n minus k, b to the power of k. This formula, we're using this formula because we're using real numbers now. Okay, 15 c1, uh, x to the power of 14, right, because 15 minus 1, and then minus 4 to the power of 1, plus they want 32 terms, so this is going to be the last one. x to the power of 13 minus 4 squared. Okay. We're going to put this in a calculator. 15 C0 is 1. Uh, so x to the power of, is going to be x to the power of 15. 15 C1 is going to be 15. Oh, yeah, 15. Obviously, it's 15. 15 at times negative 4, it's going to be negative 60. So it's going to be negative 60. Negative 6. This time is this negative 60. x to the 14. 15 C2. One hundred five. Uh, oh shit! But you have to multiply by four. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because fifteen c two times uh, negative four squared is sixteen. So multiply it by sixteen, right? Oh my god! Sixteen eighty. So sixteen eighty x to the power of thirteen. Okay. These are the first three terms of the expansion. Let's check. Nineteen. The first three terms. Find the first two terms. Oh, okay, okay. 
Okay, yeah, they said find the first two terms. So you're going to say first term x to the 15, second term is minus 60x to 14, third term 1680x to the 13. Okay, you write it like that because they said find the first few terms. They didn't say expand until the third term. They said expand until the third term is put like this. Okay, this find the first t three terms is first, second, third. I don't think they'll deduct marks for it, but I need, just pay attention. Okay, find the value of m where there is no term involving x to the power of 14 in the expansion of this. Okay, 1 plus mx into x minus 4 to the power of 15. x minus 4 to the power of 15 is this, plus dot 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 dot, right? But since they told us to expand up until the third one, okay, for a reason, right? So how we're going to write it is we're going to write like this, 1 plus mx multiplied, right? We're multiplying by x minus 4 to the power of 15. So instead of x minus 4 to the power of 15, we can write x to the power of 15 minus 60x to the 14 plus 1680x to the 13 plus dot 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 and you can write it like this this is completely fine okay what will you do now 1 times x to the power 15 x to the power 15 1 times minus 60x to the 14 minus 60x to the 14 1 times 1680x to the 13 1680x to the 13 mx times x to the power of 15, mx to the power of 16. mx times minus 60x to the power of 14 is minus 60mx to the power of 15. mx times 1680x to the 13 is 1680mx to the power of 14. What do they want? We expanded it, right? What do they want? They want no term involving what? x to the power of 14. So they want, what does that mean? How much is the coefficient of x to the power of 14? They want the coefficient to be 0. So what is my x to the power of 14? I have this here. Okay, and I have this here, right? So 1680 mx to the power of 14, and we have minus 60 x to the power of 14. Tab, let's see. You know when you have coefficients, uh, when you have, sorry, when you have two like terms, we can combine them by adding their coefficients, right? So what is the coefficient of x to the power of 14? 1680 m, right? So 1680 m right what was the coefficient of this x to the 14 minus 60 minus 60 and we know how much is the final coefficient going to be since they want no term it's equal to zero okay can we find m yes we can it's going to be 60 divided by 1680 which is going to be equal to 1 over 28 let me just double check this i'm not 100 sure 60 divided by 1680 yeah 1 over 28 okay m is equal to 1 over 28 is that correct yes <coughs> This question 19 is extremely important, okay? Very, very important. Uh, I don't know why, but I have a huge feeling it will come as the written. You can take my word. You can't if you want, whatever you want, any, your choice. But I, if you were to ask me, I feel like this will come in the written on Monday, okay? Uh, either this one here or this one 15 or for, was it 14 or this one 14. It's one of these two. Uh, I do also do have the past written from last year, uh, which I will solve in the live on Sunday. Okay, but for now, uh, m equals 1 over 28. Okay, just make sure you know this. Question 20. The first three terms of the expansion 2 plus ax to the power of n are this. Find the constant values of uh, n, a, and b. N, A, and B. Ah, okay, okay. So they gave you this, and they're saying when you expand this, you get this. Find A, N, and B. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. Let's see. When you expand 2 plus X, A, X to the power of N, they want the first two terms. What are the first two terms of this expansion? We know that the expansion is always sigma K equals 0, N, uh, N, C, K, a to the power of n minus k, b to the power of k, right? So in this case, uh, forget about the letters. In this case, it's going to be n c k, right? 2 to the power of n minus k, right? Uh, and then, sorry, I don't know why I froze. A x to the power of k, right? This is the general term. Let's see. The first, let's expand, let's expand this now. How would we expand it? Imagine these are actual numbers, these are all actual numbers. It's going to be nc0, right? nc0, 2 to the power of n, because n minus 0. And then ax to the power of 0, we don't write it, right? So plus nc1, Please, 
2 to the power of n minus 1 ax to the power of k, right? Which is 1. Plus nc2 2 to the power of n minus 2 ax to the power of 2. Okay, we know that this is all equal to let's like put it above each other it's equal to 128 minus 112 x plus bx squared we know these are equal to each other okay what is nc0 to n nc0 we know it's one right so it's one times 2n we know this is equal to to the power of n sorry is equal to 128 okay so which is the same as 2 to the power of n equals 128 okay how do you solve the equation? How do you find n if it's in the power? Okay, you can do two things. For normal calculators, you can do this. 2 to the power of x equals 128. If you have the solve function, okay, and you get x equals 7. Okay? So you can get n equals 7. Some calculators, unfortunately, don't have the equation mode. So what do you do? You do log base. Okay? You're not taught this, but here's what you do. You're going to do log base something. This log, what it is, it's specifically for solving equations when they have powers. Okay? This square here is the base. What's my base here? It's 2, right? Yes. Okay? And then this here is what your answer is. What's my answer here? It's 128. Okay, so it's going to be 128. So I'm going to put log base 2, 128, right? So log base 2, 128. You got 7. Okay. So now we got n equals 7. Now that we know n equals 7, we can, we have a lot like easier, it's way easier for us to find the rest, right? So now let's see here, this expansion here. n c1, we know n is now 7. So 7 c1, 2 to the power of n minus 1. So 2 to the power of 7 minus 1 is 6 times ax. And we know this is all equal to how much? Negative 112 x right let's expand this let's continue to expand this so we find what 8 is a is 7c1 is 7 times 2 to the power of 6 is uh, 64 yeah 64 times ax equals minus 112 x okay 7 times 64 is uh, 448 so 448 ax equals negative 112x we can cancel x on both sides and get a equals uh, sorry we can cancel x and then divide by 448 on both sides okay we're gonna get a equals minus 112 over 448 which should be minus it should be one over minus one over four let me see minus 112 divided by 448 minus one over four yeah so you get a equals minus one over four Okay, <clears throat> we know now what A is, we know what N is. Can we finally find B? Yes. Okay, this here, this expansion here. Let's see. <coughs> My fault. N7, 7, 7C2, seven 2 to the power of N minus 2, so 2 to the power of 7 minus 2, which is 5. Uh, AX to the power of 2, we know A is minus 1 over 4, so minus 1 over 4 x to the power of 2. We know this is equal to what? bx squared, right? Let's continue to do this. 7c2 should be 21, yes. Oh my god. It's 21. It's 21. 2 to the power of 5 is uh, 32. Okay, minus 1 over 4 x squared is, it becomes positive, yeah? So it's going to become 1 over 16 x squared equals bx squared let's clean this up a bit x squared with x squared this 32 with this 16 becomes 2 so we're gonna get b equals we're left with 21 times 2 which is 42 so what is my n value 7 what's my a value minus 1 over 4 and my b value is 42 so how are you gonna write this in your exam after all this work you're gonna write n equals 7 a equals minus 1 over 4. You're going to write B equals 42. You're going to put it in a box like this. Okay. Let's see. Uh, yeah, you said N equals 7 minus 1 over 4, 42. Okay, question 21. 
Uh, find the first two terms of this expansion in descending powers of x. Okay, and then find the coefficient of. Oh, okay, let's let's stay here. Okay, the first three terms. X squared plus two to the power of fifteen. Okay. How do we expand this? Let's expand. We want the first three terms, so let's start. It's going to start with fifteen. C zero. X squared to the power of 15, right? And minus K in this case is 15, 15 minus 0, 15. And we don't try that one because it would be power 0. We don't want power 0. So if now 15, C1, X squared to the power of 14, 14 times, what's my other value? 2, the power of 1, right? Plus 15, C2, X squared to 13, the power of uh, when I had the two home, uh, two to the power of two, right? Thirteen plus two, fifteen minus two, thirteen is the power of k. Whatever, you guys get the gist, the gist now. Whatever. Anyway, let's uh, simplify. This is going to be one x squared fifty. It's going to be x to the power of thirty because this is one and two times fifteen thirty. Done. Okay, fifteen c one fifteen. X squared to the power of fourteen is x to the power twenty eight. Yeah, yeah, twenty eight. It's going to be x to the power of 28. And that 15 times 2, he 30. Right? Okay. 15 C2 is, uh, I think, 105. It's 105. I remember it's 105. 105 times 4, which is... 440. I'm going to use the calculator now. Tablet one. 15 C2 times 4. 420. Okay, yeah, 420. 420 uh, x to the power of 2 to the power of 13 is x26 okay so we got this find the coefficient of x to the power of 30 in the expansion here let's rewrite this in terms of x squared plus 3 squared right because it's squared times mm -hmm. x to the power of 30 plus 30 x to the power of 28 plus 420x to the power of 26, plus dot, 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 dot. Are we done? No, we're not. This is squared. But this is easy to, to expand. We know that for squared, it's a squared plus 2ab plus b squared, right? So it's going to be a squared, so x squared squared, which is x to the power of 4, plus 2ab, so 3 times x squared times, it's 2, sorry, 2ab, so 2 times x squared times 3 is 6x squared, okay? Plus b squared, which is 3 squared, which is 9, okay? Times... Uh, this times this now, right? X to the power of 30. It's 30x to the power of 28 plus 420x to the power of 26 plus dot 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 dot. Okay, let's see here. They want ugh, the expansion, they want the power of 30, right? Let's see. What to make things easier, to make your life easier. We're not going to expand it all. We're just going to expand the ones that could get me 30. We know x to the power 4. Let's start expanding. 4. If I do x to the power 4 times x to the power of 30, will I get 30? No, I'm going to get 34, right? So, Akid, we're not going to expand it here. How about 30x to the power of 28? No, I'm going to get 32, right? Because 4 plus 28 is 32. How about 26? I'm going to get 30 because 4 plus uh, 26 is 30. So we're going to expand x to the power of 4 times 420x to the power of 26. So it's going to be 420x to the power of 30. X this times this. Okay, we're done here. Me. 6x squared. If I multiply by 30, uh, to x to the power of 30, will I get 30? No, I'm going to get 32. How about times x to the power of 28? Will I get 30? Yes, I will because 2 plus 28 is 30. So it's going to be plus 6 times 30, which is 180 x to the power of 30. Done from this one. Uh, and by the way, if you uh, if you multiply this one here, you're going to get 28. It's too small. We don't want 28, we want 30. 9 times x to the power of 30. Do I get x to the power of 30? Yes. How about here? No, I get 28. How about here? I get 26. So I found all of my x30s. We want the final coefficient of it. So what do we do? We just add them up, right? So 420 plus 180. It should just be 609. But let's just make sure. Yeah, 609 x to the power of 30, so the coefficient is 609. Let's know. 609, yeah. Here, they fully expanded, okay? So, I, I, like I told you, there's no need to do all that. Just 
do this you're gonna get this correct as well okay but put like a side note put mm -hmm. a side note like only multiplied for x to the power of 30 you know just like so you show your character you know what are you what are, what you're doing okay ما بيخلصوا أحا خمسة مني it's up until 30 though right let me make sure yeah 30 okay okay 3 plus 2x to the power of 6 find the first 3 terms okay this is the first this is the same as as 19 see find the first 3 terms yeah it's the same thing يا اخي I'm, I don't feel like solving it, Allah. Let's solve it, Allah. 3 plus 2x to the power of 6. What are the first three terms? Let's start, Yalla. So I'm going to go quick. 6c0, 2 to the power, uh, sorry, 3 to the power, 3 to the power of 6, plus 6c1. We didn't write 2x because it's c0, so you don't, like, write 6c1, 3 to the power of 5, times 2x, plus 6c2, Okay, 3 to the power of 4, 2x squared. Okay, let's continue uh, whatever, substituting. 6c0 is 1, 3 to the power of 6 is going to be... 3 to the power of 6, 729. Plus 6 times 3 to the power of 5 times 2, 2916x, two, and then 62, which should be, I think it's 15, yeah, it's 15, times 3 to the power of 4, which is, I think, 720, uh, 2x squared, 2x, 2 squared is 4, so you write 4, oh, uh, it's going to be, yeah, so let's do this. Yeah, four eight six zero plus this plus four eight six zero x squared. Okay, these are the first three terms. So the first term is seven twenty nine. Second term is two nine one six x. Okay, plus four eight six, and then the third term is four eight six zero x squared. Let me just double check this. Ah, yeah. Okay. Then they said find the constant a for this times this, where there is no term in x squared. So let's do this again. We're going to do this all over again, right? We're going to expand. So 2 plus ax is going to be 2 plus ax times this, uh, this <coughs> which we expanded to get this, right? So we're going to replace this 3 plus 2x to the power of 6 by this. 729 plus 29. 16x plus 4860x squared plus dot dot dot. Okay, let's see. Now, now, what we care about is x squared. So, we're just again to make your life easier, we're just going to expand for the x squared part. If you have time, is it like a halak? Okay, just so distribute it all. Okay, but Anna, honestly, uh. Uh, and I'll distribute all in the exam because I'm not taking any risks. But uh, if you don't have time, just distribute the x squared part. Let's see. Where do we get x squared? 2 times 729, I kid no. 2 times 2916x, no, it stays x. 2 times this x squared, I kid, it's gonna, you're going to get me something x squared, right? So it's going to be 2, 4, 8, 6, 0, x squared. And also what else could get me x squared? This times this, no. Uh, x times x will get me x squared. So plus ax squared right but this times this will get me x cubed right so we don't want that okay so this is these are my x squared terms if i want to combine let's first multiply this two times four eight six zero it should be nine it should be nine something right nine seven two zero okay so nine seven two zero x squared plus a x squared okay a x squared. If you want to combine these two, it's going to be 9720 plus A. Right? And we know when we combine them, we get no term. 
meaning when you combine them the coefficient of x squared will be zero so when you combine these two you're gonna get zero how do you find what a is it should just be negative nine seven two zero i don't know why but i feel like i did something wrong yeah i did something wrong yes i did do something wrong over here <laughs> when you multiply a x times two nine one six x it should be two nine one six a x squared i don't know why i forgot about the two nine one six so like i said it's gonna be nine seven two zero plus two nine one two nine one six a and when this is gonna be equal to zero right if you do this you're gonna get minus 10 over 3 supposedly only so it should be uh two nine one six no no wait 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 nine seven two zero no no let me let me solve it you take this to the other side you get two nine one six a equals nine seven two zero well, you get a equals nine minus nine seven two zero over two nine one six so it's gonna be minus nine seven two zero over two nine one six minus seven over three up yeah. a oh no this is zero what am I doing? A equals minus 10 over 3. Okay. Yeah. 23. <sighs> oh my god. Are they all just the same question? Okay, we'll finish. I'm not going to uh, stop complaining. Okay. Okay. So this one, we just expand normally. Uh... Yeah, they only want the first three terms. Yeah, just like every other question. Let's start. 15 C0, 1 over x to the power of 15. Plus 15 C1, 1 over x to the power of 14. Minus 3 x to the power of 1 plus 15 C2. 1 over x to the power of 13. Minus 3 x to the power of 2 is minus 1. Okay, let's... Uh, what's it called? Let's uh, simplify. It's going to be 1 over x to the power of 15. Because 15, 0. Okay, this goes 15, 15. Okay, plus 15 times minus 3 is minus 45. Uh, x to the power of 14. Sorry, minus 45 over x to the power of 14. And up we have x. Yeah? This times minus 3 is minus 45. This is x here, and this is x to 14. We can cancel. Okay, I'll, I'll leave that later. Okay, then here 15 C2 is 105. 105 times 9. So that's going to be 945. I think, right? Let me double check. 15 C2. 15 C2 times 9. Yeah, 945. Uh, 945. This is x squared over x to 13. Okay, this became positive because it's uh, even. Huh? Okay, let's see. So this comes 1 over x to the power of 15 uh, minus 45 over x to the power of 13 because this uh, x to the power of 1 over x to the power of 14, 1 minus 14 is 13. It goes down because it's negative exponent. Okay, then this uh, 2 minus 13 is 11, but it goes down because it's, it's bigger down. So plus 945. Ya Allah. 945. Over x to the power of 13. Okay. <coughs> this is the expansion first two terms. So the first term is this. Second term is this. Third term is this. Let's take this up now. Okay. What do they want in power to be? Find the coefficient of x to the power of negative 15 in the expansion of this 2 plus okay we can rewrite this as 2 plus 3 over x squared times 1 over x to the power of 15 minus 45 over x to the power of 13 plus wait hold up can't you just Wait, am I tweaking? This is 11. It should be 11. I don't know why I put 13. It was, I remember it was 2. 30, it should be 11. Right? What? Am I tweaking? 
Yeah, yeah, extra power of 11, yeah. Okay. 945 over x to the power of 11 plus dot dot dot, right? Okay, here they want the coefficient of to the power of negative 15. Let's see. In other words, instead of saying x to the power of negative 15, we can say 1 over x to the power of 15, right? So let's see here, which one will get me 1 over x to the power of 15? Again, I'm only going to uh, distribute the ones that could get me x to the power of 15. In your written part, this would be correct, okay? This would be correct. You But you have to put the note only distributed for x to the power of 15, okay? Put as uh, a 1 over x to the power of 15. If you put this note, Adi, if you don't, you might lose marks for not showing work, okay? So, let's see here. 2 times 1 over x to the power of 15. Do I get x to the power of 15 down? Yes, right? So, it's going to be 2 over x to the power of 1. Uh, uh, x, to the, x to the power of 15. Let's see. Anything else? 2 times this, it will get me over 13. This 2 times this will get me over 11. So, we're done from that too. x squared, 2, 15. It will get me over 17. I don't want that. Uh, x squared with 13, 2 plus 13 will get me over 15. So this was, this is what I want. So 3 times minus 45, it's going to be minus 135 over x to the power of 15. Okay. Uh, yeah. 15 because 2 plus 13. No? So I think we're done here. Let's see. 2 plus 11, 13. Yeah, we're done from this one here. There's nothing else we can distribute. So if I'm not wrong, you just do 2 minus 135, which is minus 133 over x to the power of 15. So the coefficient is minus 133. This can be written as minus 133 x to the power of negative 15. No? So the coefficient will be negative 133. Let me see. Yes, negative 133. All right, 24. How long is this recording? How? Okay, find the first three terms of this. Okay. Hey, these are all the same questions over and over again, man. Okay, let's let's do it again. One plus x to the power of fifteen. First three terms. It's gonna be. Let's do it fast. Fifteen c zero. Uh, one to the power of fifteen plus fifteen c one. One to the power of fourteen a x. Right plus 15c2, 1 to the power of 13, ax squared. So this is going to be equal to uh, 1, which is 1, plus 15ax, uh, right? 15ax. Okay, if it's plus 105ax squared. Okay, do the math yourself. I'm tired of putting it in a calculator. At this point, everybody watching, if you watched the previous ones, you should know just how to put it in a calculator. Anyway, so these are the first three terms. Okay, first term is this, second term is this, third term is this. Given that there is no x term in the expansion of this, find the value of a. Okay, 1 minus 3x times 1 plus ax to the power 15, which we expanded to get this, right? Okay, 1 plus 15, ax plus 105, ax squared, plus dot, 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 right? So we want no x term what will get me an x term to make your life easier one times one does that give you x no one times 15 ax will get me an x term so 15 ax right because one times 15 ax is 15 ax one times ax squared it's going to get me a square i don't want that so i'm done with that one minus 3x times one would that get me an x term yes it would minus 3x times ax will get me x squared right so we don't want that so we're done here and then x times x squared will get me cubed so i don't want so i'm done this is all i have okay we know that the coefficient of x will be how much zero right no if there's no x term you need the coefficient of x will be zero so 15 ax minus 3x if you add up the coefficients 15 a minus 3 we're gonna get zero so that means a equals 1 over 5 if you do them i take 3 to the other side and divide by 15 let me just make sure a equals 1 over 5. Okay. Then they said for this value of a, find the coefficient of x squared. Okay. Let's see. We know a equals 1 over 5. For this question, since we want both x and x squared, it would have probably been a good idea to fully distribute at the start. So let's just fully distribute to get it over with. Okay. Let me just write on the side. One second. 1 minus 3x. And let me write on the side a equals 1 over 5. Let's uh, distribute 1 times 1. 1, uh, 1 times 15ax is 15ax. Okay, 1 times 1 over 5, x squared, 1 over 5, ax squared. And uh, minus 3x times 1, minus 3x, minus 3x times 15, ax is minus 45, ax squared. Uh, 
I just realized I made a mistake while expanding. It, it doesn't affect your answer in part B, but it probably exp uh, changed the answer in part C. Uh, when you do AX squared, the square goes to A and to X. So it should be A squared, X squared. Okay. Uh, but So let me rewrite this. Okay, so and I did minus 3X times 1. This is a squared x squared here. One times this should be a squared x squared. Minus 3x times 1 is minus 3x. Minus 3x times 15ax is minus 45ax squared. Here it stays ax squared because this is just ax. It was to the power of 1, so it stays ax. But here it's now when I multiply minus 3x times this, I'm going to get... It doesn't matter because I'm going to get x cubed. We don't want x cubed. But I'm just going to expand just because I'm expanding the whole thing. Minus 3 times 105 is minus 315. Uh, a squared x cubed. Okay. Meshi, hello. Henry, what do they want? They want the coefficient of x squared for the value of a that is 1 over 5. Let's see. What are my terms that have x squared and they hide it? 1 over 5. 1 over 5. a squared x squared. Do I have minus 45 ax squared? Okay. We know a equals 1 over 5. So 1 over 105 times 1 over 5 squared minus 45 times 1 over 5 x squared we have x squared here right okay this is gonna be it should be one of these. 105 divided by 25 yeah 21 over 5 so you get 21 over 5 x squared minus this is 9 x squared so minus 9 it's gonna be a negative answer is my answer wrong minus 4.8 oh, yeah okay it's correct Minus 24 over 5. So you get the coefficient of x squared. You're going to get minus 24 over 5 x squared. So the coefficient is minus 24 over 5. Okay. Over here. Question 25. Find. Wait, let me update my. Okay. Uh, my fault. Uh, okay, we finished part C. Yeah, okay. Part A here. Okay, we expand this. Find the terms involving x and x squared. If, uh, they want they want 1k equals 2k equals 3 let's just expand for the first three terms and see what we get okay i won't confuse you and i don't really know what to do but let's if you get this let's just expand until the first three terms let's see what we get we get 15 c0 1 to the power of 15 right plus 15 c1 uh 1 to the power of 14 uh minus 4 over 3 x this is one four over three x to the power of one plus fifteen c two one to the power of thirteen minus four over three x to the power of two okay one plus fifteen uh times minus four over three x plus hundred five uh times minus four over three x squared let's simplify this this with this is 5 times minus 4 is minus 20 x okay this here is going to be 105 times square everything inside so it's going to be positive olg so 16 over 9 okay 4 squared 3 squared uh, x squared okay i think we can divide 105 by 9 oh no you can't okay let's just divide by 3 Yeah, it's going to become 35. So 35, it cancels this with this, comes 3, this comes 35 times 16, right? Over 3, x squared, and you have this 20x, uh, 1 minus. Okay, uh, 35 times 16, 35 times 16, 560. So you're going to get 1 minus 20x plus 560 over 3x squared. So find the terms of volume x and x squared. What are they? They are minus 20x and 560 over 3x squared. Okay, don't just write this because remember the question said involving x and x squared. Okay, it would be stupid to write, to actually manage to get the expansion correct and not know how to say that the, the term involving x is minus 20x and the term involving x squared is 560 over 3x squared. Anyway, we got this. Yeah, for, for part B, they're saying that there's no term involving x squared. Meaning, the coefficient of x squared at day is zero, guys. So, same question, it's the same question over and over again. 
m plus 14x and this we expanded to get this one minus 20x plus 560 over 3 x squared plus dot 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 what our what are our terms involving x squared let's see m times 1 gets me m m times this gets me 1x yani x to the power of 1 um m times this will get me x squared so let's see 560 over 3 m x squared we're done uh wait no i shouldn't have crossed that out no idea doesn't matter we're done from m right let's see 14x is there anything we can distribute to get x squared 14x times 1 will get me x to the power of 1 14x times minus 20x will get me x squared right because x x x squared so 14 times minus 20 will be minus 280 x squared Oh, this times this will get me cube. Nah, we cube. So we're gonna get this, and we know that the coefficients of this will get me zero when you add them up. Coefficient here is m. Coefficient here is minus two eighty equals zero. You're gonna get five sixty over three equals two eighty m. Uh, you're gonna get m equals how you're multiplying? So two eighty divided by five sixty over three. And you should get. Let's see. 280 divided by 560 over 3, 3 over 2. You get m equals 3 over 2. Yes, okay. 26. Okay, the coefficient of x cube in the expansion of this Oh. oh, this was actually a challenging question. I remember solving this in class. Um, okay, so you're gonna expand this plus the wait. Okay, yeah. So I just reread the question. So the coefficient of x cube and the expansion of this plus this, where a is a negative integer, this is gonna matter. You'd see in a second why is one hundred. So the coefficient of x cube is one hundred. Find the value of a. Let's see. Hey, they want x cube only. So do we have to expand the whole thing? No. So don't worry. X cube. Let's see here. The x. What's the general term for this here? It's 5ck x to the power of 5 minus k 2a to the power of k. So, okay. Now, now we want it to be cube. So we want this 5 minus k to be equal to 3. So we know that k equals 2. So, so we're going to find when k equals 2. So 5c2 x to the power of 5 minus 2, which is 3, 2a to the power of 3. Let's see. Uh, as they two two to uh, two eight to the power of two, not three. Five C two should be should be five ten, right? Five C two ten, yeah ten. So it's ten times uh two squared, which is four, right? And then a squared x cube. Which is 40 a squared x cube. Okay, this is my first x cube term. Let's go and switch over here to the power 6. The power 6, what's the general term of it? 6 ck. Uh, 1 to the power of 6 minus k. Uh, minus 3 x to the power of k. So, okay, minus 3 x to the power of k. Uh, let's see here. Now we want x cube. So we want the power of x to be 3. And the power of x is k, so we want k equals 3. So let's solve one k equals 3. 6c3, 1 to the power of 3, minus 3x to the power of 3. Let's see, 6c3 is, uh, I think, uh, 15, so, uh, 20. Okay, so 20 times minus 3 cube is uh, minus 27. Okay, and then x cube. Okay, 20 times minus 20 should be minus 540 here yeah, minus 540 x cube okay so they're saying this plus this right so 40 a squared x cube minus or plus minus 540 x cube they said that the coefficient at the end is 100 so when you add the coefficients you're going to get 100 so they're saying 40 a squared Minus 540 equals 100. Okay, can we solve this? You get 40a squared equals 640. You get a squared equals 640 divided by 40, which I think is uh, 16, yeah. And then a equals plus minus radical 16, right? Remember, the, this is why they said negative integer. So a equals negative 4. 
okay? Because they want a negative answer of radical 16, okay? Which is negative 4. Uh, you get here, negative 4. 27. Us. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. Inshallah, 10 more minutes. We'll the recording. Find the first three terms in the expansion of this. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to go very fast. You're going to get 15C0, X to the power 15, plus 15C1, X to the power 14, uh, minus times minus 2, uh, to the power of 1, 15C2, X to the power of 13, minus 2, squared. Okay, first three terms, you're going to get uh, X to the power of 15, Okay, plus uh, that's gonna be minus thirty. Well, we're working with the same numbers over and over again. Yani minus thirty, x to the power of fourteen. I'd had kun minus actually, not plus. Uh, well, no, well, plus one hundred five times four is uh, four twenty. X to the power of thirteen. So you get this. Let me just double check this. Uh, yes. Okay. Correct. Okay. Uh, given that the coefficient of x to the power 15 in the expansion of this is minus 60, find the value of a. Okay, uh, over and over and over again, same question. 30 minus 25x plus ax squared. Okay, times x minus 2 to the power 15, which we found, we expanded it. It's 5, x15 minus 30x14 plus 420x to the power of 13. Plus dot dot dot. Right? Okay, let's see. What do we want? We want power 15. So we're going to check one by one. 30 times x power 15 will get me x power 15, right? So we're going to take down 30 x power 15. This times for x power 14 will get me x power 15. No, because it's going to be x power 14. Okay, 30, my, uh, 30 times 420 x power 13 will get me x power 13 in my answer, not x power 15. So we're done from 30. Minus 25 to x times x to the power 15, it will get me 16, and we don't want that. x with 14, it will get me 15, so I'm going to do minus 25x times minus 30, x to the power of 14, it's going to be plus 750x to the power 15, if I'm not wrong. Uh, x, x13 will be x14, so we're done from here. ax squared, okay, the square plus 15, 2 plus 15, 17, 2 plus 14, 16, 2 plus 13, 15, so we will do it. So ax squared times 420x to the power 13 is plus 420 ax to the power 15. Okay, we know that when we add all these coefficients, 30 plus 750 plus 420a, we get negative 60. Let's solve this. 780 plus 420a equals negative 60. Okay, 420a, we get, uh, we subtract on the other side, negative 60 minus 780, minus 60, mi yeah, minus 60, minus 780, minus 840. So you get uh, 420a equals minus 840, and you get negative 2. I think that's correct. I remember seeing this. Yeah, negative 2. Okay, we're getting there, we're getting there, guys. We're making it, we're making it. 28. Find in terms of the non-zero constant M, the first four terms in the expansion. Okay, first four terms of this expansion. Let's go. 20C0, M to the power of 20, plus 20C1, M to the power of 19, uh, X to the power of 1. Plus 20, they have four terms, right? 20C2, m to the power of 18, x to the power of 2. Plus uh, 20C3, m to the power of 17, x to the power of 3. Okay, let's see what are these c's here. A key 20C0 will be 1. This is going to be m to the power of 20. This is going to be 20, m to the power of 19x. This is going to be here. Let's see how much. 20C2. 190, 190, uh, m to the power of 18x squared. Okay, how about 20c3? 1140, m17x to the power of 3. Let's see. They want the find in terms of the first four terms. They, we got the first four terms. Let's just double check this. Uh, M20 plus 20M19X plus 190M18X squared plus 1140M17X cubed. Okay. 
Okay, given that the coefficient of x squared and x cubed in the expansion are equal, find the value of m. Oh, so they're saying that the coefficient of x squared, 190m18, and the coefficient of x cubed, 11470, are the 1140m17. These two coefficients, they're saying they're equal to each other. Can we find this? Yes, we can. Let's start by dividing by m to the power of 17 on both sides. This will cancel with this. This will become m. Right? 18 minus 17 is 1, so m to the power of 1. So we get 190m equals 1140. Can we find m? Akid, yes. Okay. 1140 divided by 1906. So you get m equals 6. Okay, this is a nice and easy exercise. m equals 6. Question 29. Oh my god, we're almost there. Wallah, I and I've been recording since fuck, I think 2 p.m. Question 29. Okay, these recordings are gonna be very helpful for finders. It's gonna make my life a lot easier. Okay. In the expansion one plus a x to the power of ten where a is constant, the coefficient of x is negative twenty. Find the coefficient of x cubed. Okay. They want here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So they're saying when you expand this, the coefficient of x is negative 20. Find the coefficient of x cubed. Let's all she start and see what is the coefficient of x. Okay, let's see. When do we get x to the power of 1? Let's see. The general term here is 10 ck 1 to the power of 10 minus k ax to the power of k. Right? We want x, x to the power of 1. So we want this power of x, which is k, we want it to be equal to 1. So that means, how do we find the coefficient of x? We do when k equals 1. 10 c1, uh, 1 to the power of 9, ax to the power of 1. 10 c1 is just 10. Okay, and then you get ax. They're saying that the coefficient of x is negative 20. But so what do I have here? It's 10a. So if 10a should be equal to negative 20. That's how I find a, right? So a will be negative 2, okay? If a is negative 2, is the coefficient negative 20? Yes, because negative 2 times 10 is negative 20, and that way my coefficient of x will be negative 20. Okay, hella, any they want what? The coefficient of x cubed, okay? Why I'm finding a is now you're going to see why. When, let's go back to the general term here, okay? When I have x cube, when the power of x is 3, k equals... 3, right? Let's expand according to k equals 3. 10c3, 1 to the power of 7, ax cube. 10c3 will be, let's open it, 10c3, 120, okay, 120 a cube, x cube, right? Because cube, cube, and the one doesn't count. Okay, realize how the coefficient of x cube is 120 a cube. Can we just say that? No, we want a number, right? So we need the a. That's why I went and found the a by finding the coefficient of x, they told us it's negative 20. They give that you give you that for a reason, so you find a. Hell no, I know a is negative 2. Can I just do 120 times negative 2 to the power of 3? Yes, I can. And I'm going to get 120 times negative 8, because negative 2 to the power of 3 is negative 8. So it will be negative 960. Is this correct? Yes. Okay, last question. Question 30. Finally, how long is this recording? Two hours and nine minutes. Aha. Find the first three terms in this in ascending powers of x. Let's go. 10 c0, 1 to the power of 10, plus 10 c1, 1 to the power of 9, minus 2 x cubed to the power of 1. First three terms, so I finish here. 10 c2, 1 to the power of 8, minus 2 x cubed to the power of 2. Yalla. Here it's 1. Right, 1 to the power of 10 is 1. Uh, this is going to be plus 10 times minus 2x cubed. This is going to be 10c2. It's 10c2. Uh, uh, okay, so plus 45. And this is going to become positive. Minus 2 squared is 4. And this comes x6, right? Okay, let's uh, simplify. You get 1 minus 20x cubed. Because 10, 10, 10 times minus 2, uh, plus 40, 160, 180, 160, 180 
x to the power of 6. Let's see, is this correct? Yes, okay. Meshi, find the coefficient of x to the power of 6 in this expansion. Let's see. 3 minus 4x to the power of 3. Uh, times this, which we found the expansion is over here, right? So 1 minus... So, uh, yeah, 1 minus 20x cubed plus 180x to the power of 6 plus dot 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 right okay what do we want we want the coefficient of x to the power of 6 so again we're only going to distribute the ones that can get me x to the power of 6 3 times 1 will not get me x to the power of 6 3 times x cubed will not get me it will just get me x cubed 3 times x to the power of 6 will get me x to the power of 6 right so 3 times 180 is uh, 80 times 540 x to the power of 6 so we're done from the 3 minus 4x cubed times 1 will get me just 1 um, no like it will get you the same power x cube minus 4x cubed times x cube will get me x to the power of 6 right x cubed times x cube will get me x to the power of 6 so i want that minus 4 times minus 20 will be plus 80 x to the power of 6 hello this times uh, x to the power of 3 times x to the power of 6 will get me x to the power of 9 and we don't want that so we're done let me see here they're saying find the coefficient of x to the power of 6 how much is going to be 540 plus 80 it will be 620 x to the power of 6 which of the coefficient is 620 <sighs> thank you so much for watching good luck tomorrow after tomorrow sunday whatever monday whenever your exam is whenever you're watching this i wish you the best of luck thank you so much for watching